This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen, and this is your weekly dose of techno lust. And we are here in beautiful California, right inside the San Francisco Bay. And the reason that I'm here enjoying this amazing California, not just today, but always, is because of you guys. And that's what this episode is about, because this show started Almost eight years ago, we're going to be celebrating our eighth year in 2013, and one of the things that I wanted to do is celebrate one of the reasons why Hack5 made it to California. You remember in 2010, this epic journey began because I lost my job and Shannon was going back because of uh, her, her father and there was like all of this stuff going on in our lives. But one thing has rung true throughout all of Hack 5. It has just followed our lives and become our lives. And you have become part of this amazing experience that I am so heartfelt for. And so I wanted to celebrate this year, this milestone of eight years of, of Hack 5. Uh, by sharing one of the things that was the most, just the, the, the most pivotal moment in all of Hack 5, the very beginning of season seven, when we made that transition from that house, that hack house in Virginia, to coming out here to California and saying, you know what, it's, we're not financially ready to do this, but we have it in our hearts. We trust our techno lust, and we're gonna ask you guys, hey, can you put me up on your couch while I take my motorcycle across the country on a one-way trip west? And now, well, now it's time to do it again, except we're not going west. For the next six months, we're going to be celebrating Hack 5. Hack 5, the element, the community that has been you guys, that has been the culmination of this, this whole experience coming together because we're all geeks. We're all the best, coolest hacker people. And there are over 400 registered active hacker spaces all throughout North America. And I want to visit all of them and I want to visit you guys and I want to see cool projects. And I, just like I was just doing in Europe, Hack Across Europe, seeing like balloon liftoffs and just the amazing projects people are doing at uh, hackerspaces. I want to do that now, here. And so anyway, without further ado, that's what this episode is about. That's what we're doing. We're kicking off this project right now. And I'm so excited and filled with so many emotions right now because we're now launching Hack Across America. Oh, can we use that? Because I don't feel like doing that again. That's awesome. I'm Darren Kitchen, host of Hack 5, and I have the simple rule, always stay open to possibility. This season, I'm traveling cross-country visiting hacker spaces, meeting you guys, and checking out cool stuff along the way, so sign up and take part in Hack Across America. One of the other things I want to do is have, like, passengers, like, you know, a ride shotgun for a, a length. Anybody have some Vaseline? No, no, you need to like grease me up with marmalade and then I'll... How did I get my head stuck in a van? This is not OSHA. Ah, help me! I'm wrangling this plastic like a big girl. Where are you going to go? It's not, it's not the holes that concern me. Because the floor needs to come out. I need to pull the floor out and I need to put... Take out the floor. A layer of this, this is uh, Reflectix and it's basically like bubble wrap, except it's all reflecty, and that's going to add, well, a little bit more R value than whatever that pathetic stuff is there. And then we just screw it all down and hope it's not nippy. So a lot of people put down different floors like linoleum, faux tile, stuff like that. I actually like the floor that comes with uh, the Sprinter van. It actually looks like there was a love note attached for me on the bottom. And we can see, oh, is this where I was born? The Herstelland is DE, and I think that's the land. And the Herstella code is BLD. I think that's the postcode. And it was made datum, the date, 38 kilowatts slash 2011. So we're now using power in addition to dates. Go Germans! Hold on, I could taco it. You look like you're in a space capsule now, because it's like the way I had the lighting. <laughs> I like you to do that. <laughs> I'm Ratchet Man. I don't know where Clank went. What the hell is a Clank? 
All right, so the floor's back in and everything seems pretty good in that sense. And so before I put the walls in, I want to run some conduit here. Some solar panels are going on the roof and uh, this is just some basic UL, what is it called? Flex Plus blue conduit. I mean, whatever, it's just something for uh, my positive and negative from the solar panels to come down here for where I'm gonna have a bank of AGMs and charge controllers and all that other stuff. And so we've run it down the side wall of the van into a nice little outlet here. It's just gonna stick out there and be all good. So I'm just gonna trim this up and uh, kind of figure out what the hell I'm doing with all of this later. Um, and I don't think this is the right tool for the job, Paul. This is definitely not the right tool for the job. I'm Darren Kitchen in a van, not in Alaska, looking for some Wi-Fi. And someone let me use power tools. That's how you do it. See, I've already got, I've already like got an owie. Well, uh, I'm not supposed to be doing that. Do what now? <laughs> no. Freak. <laughs> We're putting spaceships in the wall so that this thing will look more like a Dalek. See, self-tapping screw, flying saucer action, and uh, a piece of, what is this, acrylic or something? Uh, anyway, it's just fun to put holes in this thing. Yay! One more. Knobbies. Knobs. 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 Snobs. 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 Snobby knobs. <laughs> so where are you going? Well, that's the thing is I, I don't know where I'm going yet. I'm going to hell if I don't change my ways. Um, I'm going to where people sign up, wherever. There are awesome things to see. I am going to seek out new life and new civilization. I'm, I'm basically going to try to do like what I did last time with Hack Across America, which was, hey, sign up. I'm going to zigzag around. I got to see so many cool hacker spaces like in Detroit and Cincinnati and everything. And I just want to go and see those, but not just hacker spaces. Like I want to see like the very large array. I want to see like all of these other like really geeky like radio telescopes and cool stuff like that. So I don't know, it really just depends on what people sign up for on Hack Across America with and then I'll go there. I have no clue if we're in the right place. But it says metal and that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm in the right place if what I came to do was recycle 100,000 aluminum cans. The other place I want is over there. Now we just rely Road skills. Seriously, this is just another example of when Google Maps f***s you. We've all had that experience, right? I had one in Berlin, but Google Maps took me to a brothel. That's Google Maps really trying to f*** you. Balls, said the queen. If I had them, I'd be king. My balls! Ooh. Now we're at the toy store. I'm getting really excited just imagining gigantic erector sets. I'm gonna build something that uses that. Wrap the entire vehicle with this. It would weigh a ton, but it would just be like beastly, right? And then we put like all these guards on it and like some turrets and stuff, and it could be like a zombie assault vehicle, you know? More metal plating. So you don't need something big like that? Well, I mean, if we were trying to build like a moon base, which begs the question, why aren't we building a moon base? I mean, our curveballs are building moon bases. This is such a hack. We're allowed in the HOV lane because this is a two-seater and we've got full occupancy. I could fit like 80 more people back there. It'd be like back there, but it would be. It'd be awesome. Get a disco ball. Darren's people delivery service. Now with more oomsa oomsa. Well, how are you gonna get there? Well, I'm gonna drive the what is this, the Hack 5 short bus? Um, I'm, going to, <laughs> I'm going to drive this thing, the, um, the, the, the hacker van, the surveillance van, my fed van. It's not a free candy van. Um, whatever you want to call this thing. And so part of that is I know like right off the bat, everybody's going to be like, one, why are you not taking the motorcycle? Which is a good point. 
uh, except for that I'm going for six months and I want to be able to bring people along the way and so I'm decking this thing out building it all out myself and with my fr uh, friends help and everybody and we're we're setting this up so that we can have like pass just like you're a passenger right now Sarah yeah and so you could go on a leg with me or like anyone can go on a leg with me and take people from point A to point B and set up with all these cameras up here so that we can like you know have a conversation and it's all natural because that's where natural conversations happen is while you're driving and so I don't know I, the I, so that's one of the reasons that I'm not taking the motorcycle and why this van and then the other thing is because um, as soon as I got to California like a couple months in you guys may remember I got um, uh, I got t-boned by a um, by a Volkswagen, by an Audi, or a, no, I think it was a Volkswagen, Paul, whatever, I got nothing against Volkswagen, but I did get hit by a car on the bike, and I almost lost my left leg, and I'm just very thankful to be, like, walking and still here. Darren Kitchen is back with us. Welcome back. Back from the land of the crashed motorcycle living, or this was whatever. A you made it out of SF General Alive. Yeah. Yes. No, Good that, for you. That in itself, really. Yeah. I mean, the MRSA might kick in later, but so far. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? That's not funny. <laughs> no, that's not. No, I'm, also, like, I'm like Gladys. I'm still alive. Darren had to pull a, a, a Volkswagen part out of his leg and, it, and all Sean Connery. Oh, this can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, two inches of plastic, like wow. headlight enclosure, like one of those. That's uh, not glad, supposed to be in me. <laughs> we're glad you're with us. Yes. Molly's it's like, not, you got to get off that bike, man. Molly's like, I'm going to send him a message. I don't know. I'm going to take some time when it comes to the motorcycle. I just don't like San Francisco traffic. Otherwise, motorcycles are cool. And uh, otherwise, what was it? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, way to go insurance settlement. So I got a van. And also, huge thanks to our sponsors like uh, Ting and Citrix and Domain.com for making this happen as well. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be making it such a, a grandiose adventure six months on the road. How crazy is that? Uh, yeah. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Budding entrepreneurs, startups, innovators, they're all turning their ideas into realities using the strength of a .NET domain. And .NETs, let me tell you, those guys are so globally understood. They're recognized universally. They're the third largest domain TLD in the world, just behind .com and .de. And you can get one right now at domain.com. Think about it, if you already have a .com, you can purchase the .NET to protect your online brand. And if the com you want's already taken, a .NET is a great alternative. In fact, I've got DarrenKitchen.net in addition to the com. And you can find yourself that new .NET over at domain.com. I love these guys because it's so affordable, like $8.99 a year for a .NET, reliable, easy to use, and their social media presence on Twitter makes them really fun to do business with them. I was just tweeting at domain.com for some help with my SSL certificate. Got taken care of like that. Those guys are awesome. They love us, which means they love you and they want to hook you guys up. So you can get 15% off their already affordable domain names, their hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout. So don't forget, HAK5 at checkout for 15% off and big savings. When you think domain names, think domain.com.